So did you ever have one of those days where you get up all excited, like you're going to accomplish a lot, it's going to be a great day, the sun is going to be shining, and then slowly it all falls apart? <laughs> That's today. <laughs> Take two. So I just started making that intro and my battery died. I'm going to try this again. So I was talking about like when you have a morning where you get up and you're all energized and you feel like you're on your game and you're on top of the world and things are going well, eBay sales are good and you're finding great stuff in the thrift store and you wake up ready to go and you got big plans for the day and then little things start to happen like I don't know, you can't find something. You go to ship out and a customer has a complaint and it just snowballs like a big snowball rolling down a hill and there's no stopping it. So that is today. Today is Friday. I am filming this video for a second time, maybe a third. I can't get my act together. So I'm sticking with it. Here I am. We're going to do a haul. We're going to get through this. So I can't guarantee what any of this is going to look like, but here we are. <laughs> This is Karen Lavender Clothesline. If you're new to my channel, just hit the subscribe. Do me a favor, okay? <laughs> Making YouTube videos some days is so hard. So if you are thinking of becoming a YouTube creator, I say go for it, but just be prepared, guys. It's a lot of work some days. Maybe I just care too much. Maybe I care if I start filming and like I've got a big hair sticking out or and then I see it after I film the whole video. I should just make a video of all my bloopers, all my faux pas. You guys would be hysterical on the floor. Uh, it's just too funny. But anyway, today I have a hard goods haul. Yep, another one because I'm just bringing so much into the house. I feel like a lot of it is fairly interesting and I want to show you guys what I'm picking up. Now just... No worries, I am going to do a video upcoming of yard sailing. I'm going to take you along with me. As always, I'm going to try to bring you along thrift stores. The reason I haven't been filming as much in the thrift stores is that thrift stores are crowded. So many people out thrifting, which is great. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see people buying what they need, whether it's for resale or personal, you know, that we're using used items. I think that is wonderful. But today I have just a bunch of mishmash that I'm going to share with you. I appreciate you guys following along, whether it's a good video or it's just a meh video, doing the best I can, and here we are. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about what I found, why I picked it up. Some of it's real obvious. It's like, wow, that's a great find. And some of it is like, hmm, why did she pick that up? Is that really going to sell? Yep. I'm going to say probably, now this isn't scientific, I'm going to say at least 95% of my things sell through. What happens to the other 5%? It's still in my inventory. I don't get rid of anything. I'm just that type of person. If I buy something and commit to it, I'm sticking with it. So some items are going to take a year or two to sell, but basically my whole store of between 3,200, 3,400 items sells through in about 15 to 16 months. That's what I'm doing right now, and it's all good. All right, we're going to get started. I promise not to be chatting this video. Do we believe that? Probably not, but we're going to turn this around. I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to share my finds with you guys, and we're going to encourage each other. Leave a comment down below if you are a new YouTube creator and you're having a real go of it. Okay, first item out of the gate. This is probably gonna reflect my ring light, so hopefully you can see it and don't mind it. I haven't cleaned it yet. Found this gorgeous tray. This is a mahogany under, yeah, that's glass, under glass serving tray. Look how beautiful this is. Brass handles. Who gets rid of this stuff? Who says, yeah, I'm gonna throw this gorgeous antique, maybe vintage tray. Well, not throw it out, but I'm gonna give this away for free. What? Even if I didn't resell, even if this wasn't my style, I could never do that. Maybe I'm greedy. I'm not sure. Anyway, you could see Goodwill, $3.99. Now, the back has some issues. It looks like they might have either polyurethaned it or lacquered it, and then it wasn't dry, and they put it on a surface. And it does have a little bit of paper there. I haven't read that yet, but I thought this was gorgeous. I'm going to guess close to, this is off the top of my head, I'm not basing this on anything, close to $90 for this, I'm going to say. So yes to beautiful vintage 
wood, maybe mahogany, I'm learning my woods, trays for $4. Yay. All right. So today is just a bunch of mishmash. I'm just throwing everything in this video. We're just going to blow through it. I'm not going to pick and choose and we'll see how that goes. And hopefully this camera battery won't die. I have four batteries charging right now. All right. The next step, two woven baskets. I don't think these are especially old, but very beautiful. I think these are good for a lot of decors and um, I like it for the bohemian style. Really nicely made. I'm thinking these are machine made. I don't think this is handmade because I don't see variation in it. But it could be a very skilled artisan. I don't know. I got the two baskets for $2. Absolutely, yes, woven baskets. Guys, would you do me a favor and leave a comment down below if you've sold these before? Because I think I've only sold these once and I had no idea what I was doing, which is very like me. And yeah, I haven't comped them yet, but I'd love to know how these sell. Alrighty. Next up, just grabbing things off the table, is a little Brighton bag, black leather, really nice condition, braided handle, crossbody. And I picked this up and the other day I was going out and I said, oh, I'm gonna be all sporty and, and use one of these instead of the suitcase that I carry. How do women use these? I put my wallet in it, it was done. Where do you put your cell phone? Where do you put your keys? Where, so kudos to you girls out there that don't carry half your life in your handbag. I do. So once in a while I kid myself and say, oh, I'm going to carry this cute little bag. It doesn't happen. My, my bag's a suitcase for real. I have sandwiches. Sometimes I have a clean pair of socks, water bottles. I mean, I should really be carrying like a cooler on wheels. That's, that's what my handbag should be. But I said yes to a Brighton bag. What did I pay for this? I believe I paid... You know what? I've forgotten. I'm going to say $4.99, I believe. So that was a good find. The next is a little cigar box. Now, although I like wooden boxes, I don't buy a lot of cigar boxes. In the past, I have sold cigar boxes that I received free at a yard sale. It was a big lot of them because people use cigar boxes for different arts and crafts and different projects. They make guitars out of them. They use them, you know, for organization and storage. But I loved this one because it says, heaven like no taste on earth. And I thought that was really cool and it's got cool graphic on it. I really liked that. So just a little hinged box. I don't think this will bring a lot of money. That's the decal inside. How pretty does it smell? No, this one doesn't smell as much. Sometimes it has a real beautiful tobacco smell. Beautiful in my opinion. And I paid $3 for it. So again, I don't expect a lot of money for this, but I took this one. All right, next up we have this chain belt. I thought this was gorgeous. I really liked it. And when I found it, right away I thought Chico's or somebody like that. It says Made in India on it. And who does make this? This is either White House Black Market or Chico's. Um, I'm not doing my glasses today. I'm over it. <laughs> I've had too rough a morning. We're just going to guess. I think that says Chico's. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. You know what? I'll hold it to the camera and see if the camera will pick it up. Oh, I'm making lots of noise. Does that say Chico's? Um, is that going to focus? Come on, little camera. There we go. Okay, so hopefully <laughs> hopefully that says Chico's and I was right. Really nice. It's kind of like a stone. I don't imagine these are real stones. I think they're plastic, but really pretty. And I paid $1.97 for belts. No idea what it's going to bring. You guys are on your own today for information. Just fill in the information. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not giving you any help today. Little kitty cat statue. Again, these don't bring a lot of money, but they do sell through fairly quickly. I think this is a Nesco. Um, Home Co. And it's made in Taiwan, which is newer than the items marked Japan. Three little kitty cats, very good shape, as far as I can tell. No chips, no cracks, I said yes. Next up is a Swarovski. I always have a hard time saying that, Swarovski. It is a crystal, I think this is, yes, a keychain. So I saw this sitting on a shelf, new in box. Let's see if I can get this out. Okay, so this might be a locket. It looks like a little suitcase, if you can see that. Oh, I like the way that's beveled. Oh, that's very cool. It's like a kaleidoscope. Ah, oh, that's very fun. <laughs> and um, what did I pay for this? $3. 
So I said yes to that. Don't think it'll fly out of the store, but how could you leave that behind? Okay, we're moving at a clip today. Next up is a good store truck. This is a die cast metal truck. Really cute. I don't know if good stores are all over the United States or they're just in like country towns. So leave me a comment if you have good store in your area and where you are. And it is a bank. And I thought these are very fun for just sitting on a shelf if you have country decor, farmhouse style, all the good keywords. The doors don't open. I like when the doors in the hood open, but not this time. But it is a cute little bank. And I think I paid $2 for this. Next up <laughs> are three mugs. Okay, so I didn't buy one mug, which that's coming up too. I bought three mugs. I, I hunted for the fourth. So it's like, I don't know if the person broke the fourth, so they donated the rest. This is Bromley, Vermont, Stratton. This is a ski area. And they look to be vintage. They're all the same. I said yes to these. I actually paid, are you ready for this, $2 a mug. What was I thinking? So $6, I'll still make my money back, I'll still make profit, but I should have paid $2 for all three of them together. That would have been a good buy. But there's that, I did it. Okay, next up, give, give me a shout if I'm going too quick for you guys. Wouldn't that be good? I can't do live hauls. You know, I, I very much admire people that do live videos. Yeah, that's never gonna happen with me. I can't even get through the filmed videos. Next up is a party light, which I don't buy a lot of party light, but this one was good. Stained glass votive holder. This thing is just as heavy as if it was a real, you know, plug-in light, amazing. So let's see which way it goes. I think this would be the front. So I said yes to that, and if you can see, it holds two votive candles inside. And what did I pay for this? I think I paid $3 for it. This was, oh, I didn't. Here's the sticker right here. I paid seven for this. Glad the sticker was still there so I know what I paid for it. Okay, what else, what else? Let me grab a few more pieces that I've already put in the other room to be photographed, and we'll keep going. Okay. The next items that I'm gonna talk about are this beautiful dog. And sitting right beside him was his friend, beautiful German Shepherd figurines. And there's really no name on these that I see. I see a number. So when I go to research these in a Google search, I will just put in um, German Shepherd dog figurine, and then I'll put the number underneath and hopefully a company name will come up. Now, if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I will still list them. I still think these are gonna bring a very good price. As long as it's not something like Dollar Tree, which I can tell they're not by the quality. But you know what I'm saying? Unless it comes up that it's really common that, you know, like, I don't know, I always bring up Target, Walmart put them out, something like that, which I don't think so. The quality is really good. They're beautifully painted. And it could be that the company that makes them just puts their sticker, like a foil sticker on the bottom. That very well could be, and the sticker is missing. But I said yes to two beautiful German Shepherd dogs. Look how sweet they are. And um, what did I pay? Four for that one and two for this one. So $6 for the two. And I don't think they have any chips or cracks, famous last words. And yeah, they look great. The next item, I went back and forth, back and forth like five times. <laughs> I don't know what that's about when I do that. It's funny because if you see me shop, I am like crazy woman running up and down the aisles. I'm all over the store, you know, especially when I'm really intent on finding a lot of inventory. I'm very focused in the zone. And then all of a sudden, some little item will just throw me for a loop. And it's usually not the big stuff. The big stuff I commit to right away. I will throw a couch in my car, you know, huge lamps. But then all of a sudden, I'll find this little thing for a couple of dollars and I'll be like, oh, should I get that? Not sure what that's about, but that's what happened with this item. It is a ceramic salt and pepper shaker set that are mermaids. This was the big decision on the shelf, in my cart, on the shelf, in my cart. 
why do I even do that? If it caught my attention and I thought it was good enough to like consider, like is it the $4 price tag? I think, yeah, I paid $4. Like it's so funny. Here I spent thousands of dollars on inventory and sometimes the little things just throw me off. But as you can see, I picked them up. Really sweet. And I don't think these are especially valuable um, salt and pepper shakers. I've never found a valuable salt and pepper shaker, but I thought mermaids, super cute, beachy, you know, all the things go into my mind. And I will report back with what these sell for. I'm guessing no more than 15. That's my guess. And they're fairly light. So the buyer won't have to pay a lot in shipping, but I liked that they had red hair. One has a drink. I'm not quite sure what the other one has, a shell. Maybe she's drinking out of a shell. Very cute. And these are Jen's Cafe St. Thomas. So sold in a souvenir shop. So maybe somebody went to Jen's Cafe and they forgot to buy their salt and pepper shakers. Here they are. <laughs> All right. Next up, I'm going to see if I can do this without making too much noise. I'll take these two first. Are these vintage plastic clown wall plaques? And I thought these were great. The minute I see something like this, this I never go back and forth. I will always take these because you can't get these again. It's vintage and somebody's going to either remember having had these on their wall and it'll be a memory for them or somebody maybe with mid-century modern or, you know, an older style decor decorating their children's room would want these. So I got this guy here. Just going to put things down on the floor as we talk as the table is crowded. And this guy with his pants falling down, I love him. And then I got this guy who, in my opinion, is not as fun, but maybe came from the same room. So I said yes to that. I think he's just a little scarecrow clown. Are there scarecrow clowns? I guess there's any kind of clown. I know there's creepy clowns people don't like, but these are sweet. Really cute. Plastic. I don't see a maker's mark. I'm sure they were just sold in like a five and dime or something like that. But I said yes to three clowns and I paid $3 for the three clowns. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind me leaning over to get things out of the shot because when the table is crowded, I need to know what I've talked about or I'll just talk about the same stuff over again. Yep, it's been that crazy of a day. Next up are these very cool plaques. I'm gonna call these medieval, Renaissance maybe. And this is the company Burwood. I've spoken about them before, vintage, B-U-R-W-O-O-D. They are made in the United States. This was plaque number one. I'll see if I can just lean it against the table leg here. Or just throw it on the floor. <laughs> this is plaque number two. Let's see if I can get this in the shot with a lion and a crest. And this is number three. I thought these were very beautiful, really nicely made. Now, I'm not sure of how many people want to decorate with medieval plastic, you know, heavy crest plaque wall hanging things, but I paid $7 for all three. And I thought they were great. Maybe a man cave, you know, I don't know. Maybe somebody's in a play and needs to do King Arthur's court, <laughs> Shakespeare or something, not quite sure but I said yes to them. And I will be shocked if they blow out of my store. That would surprise me. A lot of times when I pick up odd things, the surprise is not that I'm picking up the odd things. You know me, I always pick up a ton of odd things. And it's not that it sells, because I expect them to sell or I wouldn't be picking them up. But when they blow through fast, that's what's surprising to me. And I always try to remember to put that on Instagram. If something really odd, you know, brought good money and sold quickly. So if those bring real high money, I will report back on my Instagram. Okay, the next item I found in Goodwill and a couple of the employees there and I just chatted up and um, an employee named Dawn. Hi Dawn, if you're watching, I'm not sure if you watch my videos. And I saw this beautiful stained glass. I guess this is comedy and tragedy maybe. I'm not even quite sure. That's what it looks like from the other side. We both said, oh, this is really pretty. And then I said, well, who would put this in their house? I always want to know who my buyer is. I always try to figure that out. And I know that Dawn loved this. So Dawn, if you're watching, these are yours. I'd be happy to give them to you if you want them. And if you are watching, leave a comment down below claiming them. 
and I'll pass them along to you. Just not sure when we'll meet up. Let me know what's good. And yeah, otherwise, if you don't want them, I will sell them and we'll see how much money they bring. So I'm going to say like comedy and tragedy stained glass face masks. Maybe they're, maybe it's a superhero. Maybe it's a villain. Maybe it's not comedy and tragedy. I'm not quite sure. Really nicely done though. Really pretty. And I don't see any cracks or chips. So have you guys ever seen this before or do you identify who this is? I'm really bad on my characters. <laughs> so this could be somebody that I'm missing that, you know, is like from, I don't know, Marvel or something. Somebody made, you know, some kind of uh, superhero villain stained glass piece. <laughs> you can tell I got nothing, right? <laughs> I'm just making it up as we go along. All right. Next up, I'm going to switch this up a little bit because I want to talk about this once in a while. So I do sell retail arbitrage. You guys know that I do Pottery Barn. Um, I do the outlets. I do grocery stores. When I do grocery shopping, I absolutely look at the clearance, that little rack that they put in the corner by the back employee doors. I'm all over it. I am so on it. Every store I go to, I look for clearance. So even if I go to Target, wherever. So recently I went into Sally's and I found, let me bring these over. I think these are all of them. I might have some more in the back. I probably have more in the back. And I saw acrylic sculpted nails. So I saw these up by the register as an impulse buy. Now I'm pretty sure these go for about $9 a package. I'm going to show you a few of the ones that I got. I took them all, of course. When I find something on good price, I'm buying it all. I want every one. So I got those, same ones, and a third pack. Nope, these are different. This is more of like the rounded. So I got those. And then I got gel nails. So we got that one. That's a really pretty one. It's a pink, like iridescent, like a bubblegum pink. This is Magic Press Dashing Diva. These are very 90s looking to me. And I got some copper gold ones. Hope I'm not too shaky. I had coffee. These I actually like for myself. I might hold on to these. We'll see. Don't look at my nails now. They're a wreck. I've been, I've been schlepping. Uh, Magic Press, again, with the black, with the gold. Ooh, these are pretty. Pale pink. I love the nudes and the pale pinks. That color. That color. Is that upside down? Yep. So I got those. And these are toenails. I might keep those because I'm going to Florida. <laughs> Sometimes when I go to Florida, I just throw on big toenails. I don't got time. I take the fastest thing from point A to point B when I got a lot going on. You gotta, you gotta learn to cut corners. When you are a single person doing eBay, you know, full time, doing YouTube, taking care of the house, I'm looking for the shortest method of doing something and still having it come out okay. So I am not beyond pressing on nails and adding a little super glue to it. And these, I think I have like three or four more packs in the back. So normally these are $9 each and they were on sale on clearance for $1.50 each and then I had a $10 coupon off my whole purchase. So I think these wound up costing me, I had to check my receipt, $1.11 each. Yes, please. Because even if I'm buying in at $1.11 and I'm getting, I don't know, six bucks for them, five bucks, why wouldn't I do that? Absolutely yes. And you know, fake nails are very popular. They move quick on eBay. So I have sold things like this before. Whenever I see it, it's a no brainer. I just take it all. I just tell the girl at the cash register, I'll take them all. And of course, then they know I'm probably a reseller. And that is retail arbitrage. All right, back to the vintage haul. This is kind of nice sitting here and, and talking to you guys. Normally I'm standing up and today I figured I could use a little break for what kind of morning I've had and um, that I would just sit and chat with you guys. So leave a comment if this view is bad and say, hey, we like you standing up better, which either way is fine, but um, I always like to know what you guys are thinking. Next up is a piece of dollhouse furniture. Super cute. I've never seen this before. Now I'm not saying this, oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm not saying this is handmade, but look at the pattern on this, guys. 
I haven't seen this before. Definitely vintage. It almost has like a little Asian flair to it. And it says something. Let's see if the camera can zoom in. I will get my glasses next time. I was over it today. So see if we can focus on that. Will that focus? There we go. So I said yes to this. Really sweet. All the drawers open. Now I have sold quite a bit of doll furniture. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> And most times I'm getting an average, if it's just regular stuff, of between like maybe six to eight dollars a piece. And I'll group it in, you know, rooms or, or like pieces together. This one I expect to get more for. So I'm going to guess maybe 20 to 25. I will do a comp search on this before I sell this. But I said yes to that. I paid two dollars for it. Next up is this sweet little clock. So as you can tell, it is a heart with a brass horse with his, um, looks like that might, might have been his garland or flowers. And this is put out by Fisher, handcrafted. Does that say Lancaster, Pennsylvania? It might. I could be just making that up. But I said yes to it. I have not checked if the clock works. So there's that. But I will always take these for a couple of dollars. That's what it looks like there. Uh, I paid... What did I pay for this? I paid $2 for this. All right, what else do we have to talk about? I have a clay piece of pottery I wanna show. So I'm gonna reach over and get that, hang on. Okay. So I saw this sitting on a shelf. And this is a covered dish, not meant for cooking. You can see by the unglazed tips that it's terracotta and I believe they make it an unglazed so that it doesn't slip so it grabs a little bit more. I could be wrong about that and I'm wondering if this matches up pattern wise. I should have checked on that. Um, oh, that one goes there maybe? No, I don't know. No, maybe not. So I'm just going to put it back on like that. Beautiful though. It almost looks like, now I'm going to start to make it up, it almost looks like an onion an onion design, or I bet you there's a name to this shape. And on the bottom, it says, do not use for food. And then there's a bunch of writing that I have no idea what it says. So that could say handmade in Mexico. I'll take a screenshot of it and try to Google translate what that says. But I thought this was beautiful. And um, it is glazed inside, but it specifically says not to use it for um, for food use, so that's good that it that it has that disclaimer. I'm trying to see if this top sits on it. Oh, that seems correct. So I said yes to that, and I think I'm going to end this video here because so far my day is getting better. <laughs> I don't want to take any chances. <laughs> and what else? I think that's it. Tomorrow I am out, hopefully, to yard sales. Tomorrow is Saturday. Looking forward to that. Sunday I'm hoping to be at the flea market, and then after that I think I have an auction preview. So busy weekend, and I'm hoping the rest of the day, because it's very rainy here, just to put on a fun podcast or a television show on Netflix and listen while I photograph and list my heart away. So hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks for joining in. Just know that I will be bringing shop with me videos, thrifting videos, but the stores have been super crowded and I try to be respectful and not film when a lot of people are in the store. So I did not film this week, this past week stores were crowded, but I will be bringing more of those videos and maybe I'll try to bring the camera along tomorrow for the yard sales and we'll see how we do with that. I use yard sale treasure map, I think it's called on my phone. Let me grab my phone and see and I will show you. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this, but okay. So this is what Saturday looks like in my area. We have an area rich in yard sales and I am looking forward to that. Yard sales are one of my favorite ways to source. As you guys know, I talked about I'm going to get back into auctions, so I'm starting that this week, but yard sales are probably my number one way to source because the buy-in price is so inexpensive. You can get great deals 
and I'm usually running back and forth emptying my Jeep. Yep, I fill my Jeep several times when there's a lot of yard sales. I buy big stuff, all kinds of crazy stuff. And okay, I will stop chatting now. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, would you hit the like and subscribe button so that I can keep bringing this video content? And as always, go out and get what's yours. <music>